Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on post production stack. Today I have here with me the Fire HD 8 2018 uh, running Fire OS 6 and I am going to show you guys how to um, how to unlock your boot to loader, how to downgrade and how to root your device. Um, well, it doesn't really matter what Fire OS version that you are on um, because basically what we're doing is unlocking the bootloader so that doesn't really matter what Fire OS version that you're on. So what we're going to do now, um, there's nothing really much that we have to do currently. All we have to do is just power off the device and um, uh, just keep it powered off. And of course we have to um, open the back case so that we can get access to the motherboard. Um, but before I get into that, let me just show you guys what we'll be doing today. Um, as you can see, this is the original XDA thread and as you can see, it states here as well that it's for the 2018 model only um so you can see here that it's by xyz so i want to give credit to the developer here as well and um, you guys should uh, visit the page and uh, show your support um, of course hit thank you as well and um, you read the thread and you can see there's the thank you you can hit thank you as well so these are the files that we'll be using today and um, also the requisites um, in order for this to work um, what would we need um, we have to get a few things installed so we would need uh, python 3 python serial and android tools so that that includes your fastboot and adb drivers um, so it's very easy to install as you can see he has already placed the um, command right here so you're going to copy it and I'm going to open up my terminal real quick, um, as you can see right here, terminal. Um, so now what I'm going to do is simply paste the command and I'm going to press enter and put in my password. Okay, and um, as you can see, I have majority of those installed already. Now for Python serial, if it's not listed, what you have to do is simply install the deb file. So as you can see, it's right here. Um, that will be in the description. So like I said, if Python serial doesn't work, you can install the deb file. Um, basically, just open it up and it will open up in the software center and you put in your password and it will be installed. Um, there is also dpkg. You can use that as well in your terminal. All that would be in the description. Um, so now that you have all the requisite installations, um, let's talk about the files. Okay, so we have Ammonet v2. Um, this is what we will be placing most of our focus on in order to unlock the bootloader so you can see It has some files right in here bootrom which is for the bootloader and fastboot So these two files are required to unlock the bootloader. Okay, so um, Now that this protocol has been established Let us now Open the back case of the tablet. So if you have your tools, of course that would help um, as you can see I have my set of handy tools right here um, and I'm going to open up the device all right guys so um, I've already used the necessary tools to loosen the back so I'm all right guys so as you can see here's the motherboard and you can see the battery um, so let me just show you guys what we need to um, do in order to get everything to work out for us um, and this is what is required in order to get the bootloader unlocked um, so before we go to onto our pc let me just explain as you can see there are a few test points right here on the motherboard let me bring the camera a bit closer so that you guys can see it clearly okay so you see there's a pin right next to CLK you're going to use a wire or any good conductor of electricity and um, you're going to You know tap the wire right here. So you're going to use your finger um, to kind of uh, You know Hold it onto the pin and I'm um, going to put another end onto any uh, piece of metal on your motherboard. So I'm going to just uh, push it right next to this split right here and the other end would be on the CLK pin. Alright guys, so before we go back onto the tablet, um, open up your terminal and um, we're going to uh, run from this folder right here. So what you're going to do is simply copy the directory of the folder. Um, so copy and on your terminal you're going to type in CD and you're going to paste. 
all right and now you're going to press enter and as you can see we are running from the folder um, now we're going to run the sh file bootrom step sh um, so just drag and drop that onto your terminal and you're going to press enter now keep in mind that the tablet hasn't been connected basically what it's doing is waiting for it to connect um, and that's when we're going to now use the wire to kind of short circuit the tablet and we're going to connect it to our pc so let us get that done right now um, let me show you guys what is going to happen all right guys so keep the cable fastened onto the uh, area on your board and now what you're going to do is connect your device to your pc all right so with that being held onto the board and one end connected to your tablet you're now going to connect your cable to your pc as you can see okay so i am now going on to my pc let me show you guys what is going to happen now um, so let me connect so this is the very crucial step um, it may not work on the first try so be patient all right um, and of course as well the device should be Alright guys, so as you can see, this came up, this means that the device is connected to your PC currently. So it's right now it's in the bootloader, basically that's called bootrom. And um, after which we will press enter um, to run the exploit. But let me show you that I am still currently um, holding down the wire. So you must hold it for an amount of time. Um, so right now you can see the instruction saying remove shot and press enter. This means that if you still have the wire... Um, onto the CLK you can now remove it so I'm going to do that now and I'm going to press enter so now that I've removed it I'm going to press enter to continue so now it should start sending all the requisite files onto the tablet um, that should take some time so uh, grab a cup of coffee or whatever have you um, so as you can see right now the tz partition is being flushed so that's basically all the exploits being run and after all these exploits are done you would now be able to boot into twerp and um, you would be able to continue with the process so as you can see the longest one is tz so it, right now it's um, flashing all the files so after that you'd be able to um, flash in twerp so twerp would be done on the fast boot step as you can see over here so whilst this is happening i'm going to show you but we're going to flash next and we're going to flash the fast boot step which is after um, this bootrom step so let's just wait for this process to complete all right guys so as you can see reboot to unlocked fast boot so the, i think the device should be on right now yes it is it's, it's in fast boot mode now so what we're going to do is go on to the fast boot step so what you do now is simply take the fast boot file and drag it and drop it onto your terminal so as you can see i have done so um so let me show you guys what would be done on the tablet all right so now you're going to press enter on your pc and as you can see it's flashing the files that process was quite fast because uh, you would only flash in two onto the device so as you can see here uh, um the recovery has successfully been installed and on your tablet as well you can see that the file has been installed so now what we're going to do is we're going to power off the device and boot into recovery as we normally do with our power and volume down buttons so um, immediately after this we should be booting into twerp all right guys so i'm going to put on my case before i boot into twerp uh, we do not need to do any Thing with the motherboard anymore so now we can put on our case so that's what i'm going to do now okay guys so power and volume down simultaneously okay and it should boot into two like i said um yes as you can see so we're in two all right so in this point you are now going to copy another file onto the device um, it's called the finalize.zip so i'm going to connect my tablet to my pc right now so that i can uh, copy that file over to it so 
this is what i'm going to do now it's basically just as you would usually connect your device to your pc to transfer files so it's not anything too difficult all right so you can see the device turned up right here so i'm going to copy the file finalize or you can also use adb push so i have an sd card as well but i'm going to put it onto the internal storage so i'm going to paste it right here okay so it's now on the internal storage on the device itself now so on the device now what we're going to do is downgrade so now that you have the finalize.zip we're going to downgrade so you're going to go over to install and um as you can see here are a few files right there oh and also you must have magis if you'd like root of course which is why you are here you're going to copy magis as well so i recommend getting the latest version so you're going to select firewall 6.3 as well as uh, magisk i believe i have it in my um, downloads folder i think it should be right here and you're going to also add um, finalize right here so you should have those three files present and um, afterwards you're going to swipe to confirm flash yeah so as you can see as stated right here uh, right in the system it will take forever to get yourself a coffee so yes it takes quite a while all right so that is complete so let's reboot the system so right now basically you would boot into fios normally um it would be on fios 6.3 um that's i think that's the first version of fios 6 so it's quite old um yes yeah, so we have root and we have uh, downgraded our firewalls now this is kind of an initial boot up so expect a bit of a wait as well if you formatted your data that is um, but if not then you should just boot normally okay so as you can see we are uh, we have booted but if you experience any issues uh, just go on to wipe on top and um, i'll show you guys anyway all right so if you were to experience any issues with booting especially if it may be with regards to a boot loop or so um, what you'll have to do is go on to wipe and either swipe the factory reset or you go to wipe your dalvik data and cache um, you won't lose any of your files whether it be in internal storage or in your sd card so don't worry about that because as you can see it's not selected so if you experience issues with booting just wipe these partitions all right so that's basically it um, i expect the video to be a bit long regardless so um as you can see here here's magisk and the device is rooted so i'm opening it up and as you can see magisk is installed and we have root all right guys so we have come to the end of today's quite extensive quite long video um i trust that you understood it and i and I, I i'd understand if you had any issues because it's quite a tricky process so um if you have any issues with regards to whatever was being done in the video don't hesitate to mention it to me in the comments or via the website or you can um, contact the developer directly on XDA um, I place all credits to him and everything all the files of everything listed in this video credits go to the developer XYZ on XDA and all other associates so um, that's basically it for today's video and of course I am coming up as well with another video on updating this tablet to Android Pi or we install Lineage OS 14.1 which is basically Android 7.0 which is the device is running so look out for that.